Kanye West is facing another legal battle this time from an alleged former employee who is accusing the rap artist of tasking him with launching an inquiry of his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's family in a retaliation lawsuit filed in a Los Angeles court October 10th and obtained by celeb craze the plaintiff identified as John Doe, states that while working as the rapper's director of intelligence, his duties included investigating the Kardashians' family and supposed various criminal links Ye believed they had with criminal enterprises, including alleged sex trafficking celeb craze has reached out for comment from reps for Kanye and the Kardashian-Jenner family, and has not heard back the lawsuit states that the rap artist hired him in late 2022 and that he was made to conduct investigations, including those involving attorneys and parties that have filed suit against Kanye Doe, alleges that in addition to being tasked to investigate the Kardashian Jenners, the music producer also had him hire private investigator to follow and tail his current wife, Bianca Sori, when she was traveling alone to visit family in Australia. Without Miss Sori's knowledge, Kanye has been married to Bianca since December 2022. The two wed less than two months after he finalized his divorce from Kim, with whom he shares kids, Northwest 11th Street, West 8, Chicago. West 6 and S West 5 Doe also alleges in his lawsuit that this past May he received a call from an employee of D Academy, a private school Kanye founded in 2021 and which closed in June, according to public records informing him that abuse of children had occurred at Day and that supposedly nothing was done to correct or report the problem. The man said he immediately informed the remaining Yeezy leadership of the report about the D students and that later that day Kanye himself called him to yell curse and threaten him with great bodily injury, including death, if he repeated the information. Doe alleges that the rapper told him you're F dead to me, and also played a recording of scary voices that were threatening to harm him. He added that in the next few days and weeks, he also received threats from Kanye's associates Doe states in his lawsuit that as a result of his lawful reports of violations of law and his refusal to engage in unethical activities, Kanye retaliated against him through a campaign of threats, intimidation, and harassment which caused him severe emotional distress and exacerbated his PTSD that he suffers from as a military veteran, resulting in both emotional and financial harm. The plaintiff adds that he is still owed wages for work done on Kanye's behalf. He is seeking punitive and other damages relating to loss of earnings and a jury trial. Thanks for watching.